at the Goodwill for 99 cents, sold in less than 24 hours for asking price of $200. Yeah. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we're going to talk about big money plush that sold on multiple platforms. Most of them sold on eBay, but I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is over 100,000 members. Come join if you haven't already. Under my link tree down below, there is a link to join, and you guys can come and share your big money bolo, and I will feature it in a video just like this, and you can get a shout out for your um, platform that you sell on, or for your YouTube channel, if you have a YouTube channel. Just put that information in the comments when you share. So let's get started with some big money plush bolos. And what's required is you got to tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. So here is what she said. Got this Charlie Bears teddy bear from a thrift store for $9. It's a very prestigious brand that make great quality teddies and beautiful handmade designs. Some go for several hundred dollars, but even the lower end ones go for good money. Absolute bolo. This isn't, I've never heard of this, but this is in Australia. So maybe these are sold in Australia, but that doesn't mean that one won't show up here. And if you're watching from Australia, definitely be on the lookout. So this sold for $82 in Australia. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. The next item is this vintage Eden pastel terry cloth elephant. And I have talked about these in past videos definitely a bolo look for terry cloth items the rebel reseller will also talk about these they're bolo 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 for these got this eden elephant plush at the goodwill for 99 cents sold in less than 24 hours for asking price of 200 dollars. yes i said 200 dollars. might have listed too low but it was a quick profit my ebay store is rand k pickers r and k pickers there's the tush tag. The next one is this vintage Dakin Petal Craft plush teddy bear, Super Ted stuffed animal. Ah, oh, his little outfit comes off. How cute is that? I've never seen anything like this. Found at the Salvation Army for $1.99, sold for $39.99. He was listed for about three weeks before he sold internationally to someone in France. This one comes from Livin' Lovin' Vintage. Uh, ABC Anna Baby Club Vintage 1990 Cream Lamb Sheep Plush Bell Yellow Ribbon. And it is a little stuffed animal. She said, new seller here. Bought at the Goodwill for $1.99. Saw there was five sold and zero listed. Sold it for $49.99 to a buyer in the Netherlands. My store is Annie's Big Barn Sale. I named it after my grandmother's yearly yard sale from when I was little. Oh, that's so cute. Love your videos. And if this gets shared, thank you. Of course, it's a fantastic bolo. Thank you for sharing. The next item. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute. This is not a Rushton, guys. This is a Knickerbocker vinyl face pouting bear. All right. We all know Rushton are a big money bolo. But did you know about this? I picked this up at a... Goodwill for $2.99, sold for $75 in a few weeks after listing. Two Little Cherries is the eBay store. This one right here says, I, oh wait, hold on. Where is it? Here it is. Um, I bought this bear set along with 20 other bears at a high bid auction. I ended up paying $4 each. I took an offer of 75 for these guys. These, I'm sorry, they are artists made one of a kind bears. It is Bev's Bears Loom or Lum Bear Jack and Blue Bear Set. Paul Bunyan, 18 inch artist Bev Dodd Mohair. And this one was sold by Jody Toy Attic. You guys, if you're not following Toy Attic on YouTube, what are you doing? Check her out. She is a bolo finder and full of knowledge. So Toy Attic on YouTube. And this one was sold by her. And she is also Toy Attic on eBay. Look at this cutie. Vintage Rainbow Bright Kitty Cat. And look how bright that white is. Wow, that looks great. 1983. 
Fantastic. A neighbor heard I resell plushies and gifted me a bag of her toys from the 80s, so I paid nothing. I listed it for $149.99 based on comps and accepted an offer of $125, including shipping, after listing for two weeks. Probably could have got full price if I would have waited longer, but happy to sell to a buyer to gift to her daughter. Oh, look at its little face. It's so cute. All right. This next one comes from Piece of Scrap. She said, I paid 25 cents at a thrift store and sold for full asking price of 18 on Mercari. Mercari is a great platform for plush. I've talked about it time and time again. This retailed for $3.99 right there, guys. It is retired and doesn't matter what the tag says. You can still sell it for more. And Piece of Scrap also has a YouTube channel you'll definitely want to check out. Mercari. You can join Mercari with my referral link down below. Get $10 to shop when you join. Another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And a lot of times, things that are saturated on eBay will sell on Mercari. So check it out. Depop. This one comes from Piece of Scrap over there. This is a platform that I have not um, ventured into. So if you guys are selling on Depop, let me know how you're doing over there. Paid $3 at a thrift store, accepted a best offer of 20 shipped on Depop. She said, I recently started selling on Depop. Follow my shop, Piece of Scrap, also on YouTube. So she uh, sold it for 20 on Depop. So you can sell plush on Depop. Did you know that? Whoa, this one's just weird. This plush is an artist made piece. I have zero dollars into it. Farm girl scavenger Noel came to visit me for a week and found it amongst the stuff left behind by the previous homeowner after we bought our property in 2021. It is signed and numbered. It's been listed for a long time, but finally sold this month for best offer of 150. My mom's house is sold now, but I am still selling off her estate out of the barn. My babes built for me. We are setting, settling in and I am back to regular listing and selling. And this one comes from Antiques from Karen. And this is weird. Sold it for $199.99. Um, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel is a mega bolo finder. She knows her stuff. So she gave great advice on this item. But I'm sorry, she took a best offer of $150. Charlene Kinzer Designs. 51 out of 80. Yes. List it, forget it, and wait for the right buyer. And that's Antiques from Karen on YouTube and here on eBay. Manhattan Toy Pierre Pig Tiptoes Terry Cloth uh, 1999 Vintage Plush. She said, bought this big pig by Manhattan Toy Company. It's 14 inches. Uh, bought him and a smaller version at the Salvation Army when I was visiting a friend in PA. I bought it for $1.99 and sold him for $120 on Poshmark. Got a great message from the buyer after they got it. Only sold the largest one, not the smaller one. And the message from the buyer says, this is the best. My son, nine, has carried this piggy around with him since he was a baby. Still sings to it and brings it around the house. We're thrilled to replace it with one that is clean with no holes. Thank you. So um, that is the message that the Poshmark buyer left her. And that is one thing, one reason that plush that is vintage and hard to find sells for big money. People are looking for it and they'll tell you, they'll send you nice messages like that all the time. I've gotten quite a few, but Manhattan Toy Company is a great, uh, great bolo brand. Tattoo Zoo. Keanu Extreme Koala Bear Plush Stuffed Animal from 2020. 20, 20 <laughs> I cannot say it. 2022. A thrifted spirit shared this one. Went to an estate sale about an hour north of me, ran into a friend, fellow reseller as I was leaving, and they reminded me there was a Goodwill not far from us. I ran over there and picked up this koala. Look at it because it was unique and new with tags. Sold for 30 on offer in about a week. Check it out. Would you have picked it up? So cute. All right. And the last one here says, I found this gunned fluffles lamb at the Goodwill bins and paid about a dollar. It's super soft and floppy. It sold for full asking price of 68 in about three weeks on Poshmark. 
And if you are not on Poshmark, my referral link down below will get you $10 to shop when you join Poshmark. And you can check out my links down below for more um, items to uh, help you with your reselling business. In addition to the ones that I mentioned in my link tree down below is the link for Facebook to join that group and come share Bolo. Thanks for watching.